Hello everyone, I'm Sakai Samurai, and welcome to another Genshin Impact Lore Dive. Today we are taking a look at the brand new first suit of the edit to the game, and impossible to obtain character, Tainari. Seriously, if I get one more die on it, I swear I am going to commit arson on that cat cafe. Alright, so that may have got dark pretty fast. Within the lush and beautiful Avidia Forest lies the largest portion of civilization within Sumeru. Harboring the great minds of the prosperous Sumeru Academia, and as well as the well established city of Sumeru. Within these beautiful lands, there is much to protect, and as nature cannot always fend for itself from their many inhabitants, it must rely on others. This is where the legendary Forest Watchers come in, the dutiful protectors and guardians of the vast forests of Sumeru, who have sworn to protect these lands with their very lives. Most of their tasks are centered on monitoring the local wildlife and beast populations, as well as preserving the local rainforests and suppressing the constant threat of withering zones entering the area. It is said that those who encounter misfortune in a video forest shall meet a grand forest watcher, known as Tainari, who would swoop in and assist with those that are in need, or punish those who dare to harm the great forest of Samara. Tainari, a young fox-eared man, stands at the ready to lead Sumeru's people to a better tomorrow, working diligently every single day in the honorable hopes of preserving the beautiful forest of Sumeru. Looks-wise, Tainari is a very different-looking character, and he seems to support traits of what hints to resemble somewhat close to a desert finnick fox, with his long curved fox-like ears, a green bushy tail, and his really weird eating habits. He's also said to have a very delicate complexion, though you should never let his gentle looks fool you. He is indeed a very skilled fighter and a valiant protector through and through. His name alone brings two images to the minds of many, some seeing him as a peaceful guardian, appreciating the planet's blessings and always swift to lend a helping hand to those who struggle to go on, while others see him as a fearsome foe one being a lurking predator in the Avidia forest, ready to halt anyone who dared to bring harm to the land he swears to protect. Either way, indeed he has become a legend amongst the great lands of Sumeru. In Tainari's beginning years starting off as a ranger, he found the forest watchers battling to keep up with the massive demands that the land had requested from them. Not because of nature per se, but from humanity's own ignorance. Invasive camps and shelters were often crafted from destroyed vegetation, and with people came domestic waste dumps, which in turn would lead to great contributors of pollution. Many of the cases would also spark forest fires, as they would stem off from these established camps that would fail to properly douse off their bonfires correctly. The rangers must not only secure and reclaim the land that has been improperly treated, but must also cease the existence of any invaders themselves, which was an encumbering task for the Watchers. As they were stretched thin as it was, they also had issues that continue to arise, as they were in great need of help if they were to encounter this great threat. This did not last long, however, as shortly after his enlistment, Tainari would quickly slow this decline, and instead prove to the forest that just how skilled he truly was. Many would say that the reason for his expertise was due to him as a scholar, as he indeed once hailed from the world-renowned Sumeru Academia, which had taught him his unique skills and precise techniques that he would gladly <coughs> demonstrate on anyone who threatened the land itself. But Tainari's legend is so much more than just his simple combat skills. Instead, the true charm of his character falls to his unique and subtle way that he handles his encounters. Believing that the correct way to teach someone the wrong is to truly correct them. Instead of merely letting someone off with a warning or giving someone a scornful lecture for their mishaps, he would graciously demonstrate and correct their mistakes. Heavily believing it is far more useful to lend a hand and correct one's issues so that they may do better next time. This mindset is what indeed led him to disagreeing with how the academia always resorted to long drawn out lectures about how they should just do better next time instead of truly fixing the problem. 
Tainari is also at the same time very well known for the exact opposite of what he preaches. As you can see him stopping and break out in a long drawn out lecture, teaching others their mistakes all the time. And this is far from uncommon. However, even with this, Tainari is still known as a fantastic teacher and truly knows how to turn his words into action. As the forest rangers were once found lost and demanding help, they also lacked any sort of schedule or any real systems in place to ensure smooth operations. It was up to Tainari himself who changed all of this, finding that sitting around and complaining and debating on what they could do to help the watchers, he found it better just to go ahead and just jump in and fix it himself. He wanted to create a rationalized patrol log system, assigning positions and tasks based on strengths and weaknesses, and found it within himself to ensure that he carried out history lessons of the land to the rangers on a written and assigned schedule raising morale and immensely strengthening them as a team. As time went by and Tainari's long list of efforts continued to multiply, he eventually found his colleagues calling him a new name, the General Watch Leader. As grand as a title as this was, he couldn't actually believe what he heard, thinking it must have just been a simple slip of the tongue and nothing more. He wasn't hearing things, however. He was truly seen as a hero to the Rangers and saw it fit for him to be declared the new leader of the Forest Watchers. Though Tainari saw this title as... overbearing. Instead, he would rather be referred to as a Forest Watcher or just simply call him Mr. Tainari. To cap things off, I'd like to say that Tainari's race also lives as a primarily alone for the most part. Many keep away from others and prefer to be left alone to their own selves. This is also noted by Tainari himself, who refers to them generally being scholars and often chasing knowledge, not really having time to have social lives. But Tainari is indeed very different, as he loves and appreciates his wealthy amount of friends and that he has indeed acquired over time. It was with him that he had learned so much and he sees his friends as true blessings in his life. Though he still looks forward to his time away from others, alone in the woods, enjoying his own company. And that's Tainari, everyone! An amazing new character in Genshin Impact. And I'm so excited to get a hold of him. He's right now my number one wish in the game. It has literally been burning all of my Primogems just trying to get him. Yeah, I, I really want him! I, this is this is pain. I keep getting spears and dwarf uwu girls. Please, I just want him. Just give me the damn. Anyways, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this Genshin Impact lore time. Make sure you guys leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and please, if you haven't already, subscribe today, and check out my growing catalog here on the channel. It's only up from here, and we have plenty of content to take on. As always, everyone, if you have any suggestions on what we should do next and what character we should cover, leave them down below. I shall catch you guys next time, and as always, away!